Now, did you ever have one of those friends who just had all the luck? Hello, I'm Hexa007. How the hell are you? Okay, so let's set the scene. The year was 2012, and in work we had a young guy who had just started working with us for the summer. So obviously he was a lot younger than me, and it's difficult to strike up a conversation with, with young people. <laughs> so we did get talking one day, and we started talking about games, and, and Call of Duty cropped up. And he was saying that he was a huge Zombies fan, mainly Black Ops 1 at the time. And I was asking, did you ever play Modern Warfare 3, which was the game that was out at the time? And his response was, no, he never really played much multiplayer, apart from Zombies. So over the next few weeks, we began talking about games, and we began playing together, and we partied up a few times. And he was an MW3 noob. So I was always doing pretty well against him, and we mainly played free-for-all. So I was always finishing on top, because I was the best at free-for-all, ever. So just to let you know, his name was Adam, or actually, it still is Adam, I don't think he's changed it. <laughs> and Adam started to get a little pissed off that I was always beating him, not physically, but in the game. I only ever beat him once. And I did notice one thing about him in his gameplay. He always seemed to be finishing games with very little deaths. So I thought, you're either a camping little shit, or you just don't die a lot, perhaps. He's just not that aggressive enough to go and get the kills. You know, he's finishing the games maybe 20 and 1 or whatever. One day at work I happened to mention about Moabs, and I have never actually got a Moab in MW3. Uh, I've come close, but no cigar. Now this was completely new to Adam, he'd never even heard of the term Moab. So to me this was strange, but the guy didn't watch YouTube videos or really fall into a Call of Duty community. You know, he was raw, not tainted by dirty influences, he never watched the tips and tricks video. He was a noob, but a good noob. So after telling him about this Moab thing, he said to me, you know what Mark, I'm gonna give it a go. <laughs> so I kinda laughed and says, yeah right, as if, just go and get him a wab, easy peasy. But, that night I received a text message from Adam saying, OMG, turn on your PS3, and go to theatre mode or vault or whatever the hell it was in MW3, I just got a Moab. So I nervously sat down and watched the gameplay you're actually watching at the minute. Yes, it may be considered cheap tactics and he may be camping like a, like a motherfucker, but a Moab's a Moab. It's still one more Moab than me. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of this commentary about luck, Adam actually went on to get a Moab in almost every map, using almost similar tactics to this. But as I say, a Moab's a Moab. Now, talking about luck, this guy is talented. Now, I don't mean talented like X Factor or Britain's Got Talent. This guy can play almost, I don't know, every instrument ever invented and he's also in a band. The song you're listening to in the background is actually by this guy. He's extremely, extremely talented. And he also starred as an extra in the last two series of Game of Thrones. So he's kind of got around. <laughs> I'm a little jealous to say the least. He's actually going to the US this year, I think. The last I heard to try and pursue a music career across the pond, so Congratulations, you lucky little shit. As for me, the closest I ever got to a mob was a 24 streak on the map terminal, playing kill confirmed. And just as I had my enemy in my sights to pick up my final kill to claim the elusive Moab, I actually watched as my teammate ran into the final tag that ended the game. He denied me my first ever Moab. So hashtag fuck my life. And I'll see you all in the next video. Love you. Bye.